In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look into some of the important results on the number of elements in sets. Before we begin listing the results on the number of elements in sets, we've got a condition that we have to, you know, write it out. It is this, if A, B, and C are finite sets, remember it's finite sets, and U be the finite universal set, then, well, here starts the results. Here is the first one, it says uh, the number of the elements in sets of, say, A union B. Well, I'll read it, N of A union B equals N of A plus N of B. A is nothing but it's a set, B is a set, so N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection of B. Let's look into the next result. Well, the next one is N of A union B equals N of A plus N of B. Where did this go? It's not there because A and B are disjoint sets. They do not have any elements in them which are existing in both the sets. So they both have completely different elements. That's why N of A union B can sometimes be just N of A plus N of B. Here's the next one, N of A minus B equals N of A minus N of A intersection B. Or another way of writing this particular result is N of A minus B. Take this on the left hand side, it becomes N of A minus B plus N of A intersection B equals N of A. Well, it just is N of if you know so much. We've got the next one here, which is N of A triangle B, which is nothing but the symmetric difference of two sets. That is equal to n of a plus n of b minus 2 times n of a intersection b. The next one is n of a union b union c, which is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c. The next one is, if you want to find the number of elements in exactly two of the sets, A, B, comma, C, A, B, and C, then you just have to use this, N of A intersection of B, plus N of B intersection C, plus N of C intersection A, minus 3N times A intersection B intersection C. And the next one is, if you want to find the number of elements in exactly one of the sets, A, B, and C, use this n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus 2n of a intersection b minus 2n of b intersection c minus 2n of a intersection c plus 3n of a intersection b intersection c. And the next one is n of a complement union b complement equals n of a intersection b the whole complement equals n of the universal set minus n of a intersection b. And the final one is n of a complement intersection b complement equals n of a union b the whole complement equals n of u minus n of a union b. Alright, so that ends the list of results on the number of elements in sets. And if you've been wondering what exactly is that n everywhere, it is the number of elements that is present in a set. So that is what is n. And why do we need to look into all these important results? Because we're going to be using them in a lot of word problems based on sets. So that's what we're going to be doing in the, in the forthcoming videos. So this ends this video. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with a lot of problems uh, based on these results.